Hello, Year 2. Today, we are going to be starting to write out our Miss Trunchbull character description. So, what you're going to need is your plan. You probably want access to the Padlet so you can see what other people have written, because that will help you get your ideas. And you need a piece of paper to do your work. I have made a checklist of things that I want us to include. So I'm going to be referring to this as we write to make sure that we've included everything. So the first sentence I want to write is about what her name is, because the person reading this needs to know who she is. So I'm going to start off with this terrifying I'm going to add in another adjective as well. This terrifying, comma, repulsive woman is called Miss Trunchbull. Let's see if I can squeeze in the word Miss Trunchbull here. There we go. This terrifying, repulsive woman is called Miss Trunchbull. I'm going to tick off that I've used, sorry, tick off that I have said what her name is. So her name, done. And on my plan, I'm going to tick off that I've used the word terrifying. So right now you're going to pause the video and you are going to write your introduction sentence. So what is this woman's job? She is the headmistress at Crunchham Hall. She is the head mistress at Crunchham Hall. Now Crunchham is the name of a school, so you need a capital letter. Crunchham oops, Hall. She is the headmistress at Crunchham Hall. Full stop. Tick. I've done that. And tick. Her job. You're going to pause the video now and you're going to write your sentence about what Miss Trunchbull's job is. So if you were to see Miss Trunchbull, how would you feel? I think I would be absolutely shocked if I ever saw her. I'd be really scared. So I'm going to write a sentence about how someone would feel if they ever met Miss Trunchbull. You would be shocked. You would be shocked if you met her. You would be shocked if you met her. Now, what kind of punctuation should we put there? I think an exclamation mark is a good punctuation for that sentence. You would be shocked if you met her. So you're going to pause the video now and I want you to write a sentence about how someone would feel if they ever met Miss Trunchbull. In the story, Miss Trunchbull is often referred to as the Trunchbull instead of Miss Trunchbull because I think it makes her sound a little bit scarier. I'm going to write a sentence using that. The Trunchbull Capital T, because it's still her name. The Trunchbull is a gigantic, so already starting to talk about what she looks like, is a gigantic holy terror. I've got that from my plan here. The Trunchbull is a gigantic holy terror who wears very odd clothes. In the book, in Matilda, Brawl Doll says how she wears very strange clothes. Very odd clothes. That's the end of my sentence, so I need a full stop. The Trunchbull is a gigantic holy terror who wears very odd clothes. 
Right now, you're going to pause the video to write a sentence about how her clothes are a little bit strange. And then I also want you to include something about her personality in that sentence. So what does Miss Trunchbull wear when she is in school? When she's in school, she wears a brown smock with a wide belt, bottle green breeches and green stockings. I'm thinking we can put that all into a commas in a list sentence. So when she is at school, when she is at, so squeeze it in, when she is at school, she wears, she wears a brown smock, a brown smock, comma, bottle green breeches, comma, and green stockings. Full stop. When she is at school, she wears a brown smock, comma, bottle green breeches, and green stockings. I'm going to tick off what I've done so I don't forget. Brown smock, bottle green breeches, and green stockings, and what she wears. Done that. You're going to pause the video now and you're going to write your commas in a list sentence about what Miss Trunchbull wears. Miss Trunchbull also wears something else. She wears something around her waist. It's a wide belt. I wanted to add that in a separate sentence. So we can say around her waist, around her waist, she wears a brown leather belt or a wide belt. You can choose how you want to say that. A brown leather belt, full stop. Actually, I'm going to be a bit more descriptive. The belt also has a buckle with a silver buckle. Okay, you're going to pause the video now and you are going to write a sentence about what Miss Trunchbull wears around her waist. We want to tell the reader what she used to do before she was a head teacher. So we can use a this something something sentence. This Olympic athlete, but she doesn't do the Olympics now. In the book, Roald Dahl says this former Olympic athlete, and former means that you have done something in the past. This former Olympic athlete, an athlete means someone who does sports. This former Olympic athlete has huge muscles all over her body. Full stop. Let's see if we can tick anything off. So we've got used to be in the Olympics. Oop, wide belt. What she used to do. We've done that. This former Olympic athlete has huge muscles all over her body. You are now going to write a sentence about what she used to do. Now we want to explain what her body looks like in a little bit more detail, because all we've said so far is that she's really big and she has lots of muscles. We want to go into a little bit more detail about that so the reader can get a picture in their mind of what she looks like. So let's look at our plan. <clears throat> she has a thick bull neck, big shoulders, powerful legs or massive thighs arrogant eyes and a cruel mouth. Now we can't include all of those things in one sentence, so I'm going to choose three of them so we can do a commas in a list sentence. I want to choose thick bull neck, big
big shoulders and massive thighs. Or maybe powerful legs. I think that sounds a bit better. She has a thick bull neck. Now, if it's commas in a list sentence, what do I need? Comma. She has a thick bull neck, big shoulders. and powerful legs. Full stop. She has a thick bull neck, big shoulders, and powerful legs. You are going to write your sentence now, you, your commas in a list sentence now, about her, what she looks like, what her body looks like. So what does her hair look like? Her hair, she's got greasy hair. I don't think I've actually included it on my plan. She has, oh, so her dark greasy hair. That's a two adjective sentence. Her dark comma greasy hair always tied back in a really tight bun. Dark, greasy hair is always tied back in a tight bun. Full stop. So there's my two adjective sentence. You're going to pause the video now and you are going to write a two adjective sentence about Miss Trunchbull's hair. How about her eyes and her mouth? She's got small, arrogant eyes and a cruel mouth. I want to include that. I want to start it with a this something something sentence. This, let's look at our plan. This bloodthirsty head teacher, this formidable female, this tyrannical monster, I think I'm going to include this formidable female. This formidable female has arrogant eyes and a cruel mouth. Full stop. So let's tick off what we've done. Arrogant eyes, cruel mouth, formidable female. And what have we done on our checklist? We've talked about her body size. We've talked about her face and her hair. I think we're nearly done, guys. Oh, we've also, we've used this something something sentences. We've done commas in a list. And we've done two adjective sentences. We've included lots of things already in just our first paragraph. There's one last sentence that I want to add. When she shouts, when she shouts, you can see Can you see when she's shouting? You can see her rotten yellow teeth. Now I haven't included that in my plan. I've actually just remembered it. So you don't always have to include only what's on your plan. If you remember something, or if you see something on someone's Padlet, you can always write it in your own character description. Oh, rotten yellow, two adjectives, need a comma there. When she shouts, you can see her rotten yellow teeth and smell her horrible breath. Yucky. Full stop. Right, that's all we're going to do today. So what I want you to do now is you're going to write one last sentence about her teeth or something else about her appearance. Make sure you read through everything that you've done to make sure that it makes sense. Bye guys.